Hello Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading for September 2022. This is for Pisces Sun and Rising and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional called a cross spread and I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity and to get a little bit more specific with the reading and now Pisces, the reason I do that is because I want this to feel like a personal reading for you rather than a general spread. Now, Pisces, September is an interesting month, all right? Let's, are we, are we gonna go there? We're gonna go there. Uh, about six planets are retrograde, okay? Mercury is going retrograde, all right? Now listen, some of those planets, we're, we're happy they're retrograde, okay? Um, it just means that we don't have them in our corner at their fullest, but uh, with Mercury retrograde, I know a lot of people cringe when that happens, but listen, there's a lot of benefits to it too, okay? And if that shows up in your reading, we'll talk about it, all right? Now, Pisces, listen, for you specifically, oh my goodness, we have that full moon on September 10th in your sign, so get ready, all right? That one's going to be... Woo! A lot of changes something could be closed coming to an end there's a lot of activity in your partnership sector right now both love and career and then also as we know jupiter and aries is in your second house of money and income so let's go ahead and get started uh with your reading i want you to know if you are new to my channel uh i put all the key astrological dates in the description if you want to follow along and then stick around to the end of the reading where i pull a card a week just to give you a little bit more clarity on what to expect for each week this month because there's so many so many aspects i mean not as many as like july or even june but enough that are powerful for me to just say like okay we need to see what's going on this week specifically and yes i do this in addition to the weekly readings I, oh shoot <laughs> the weekly readings i do for every sign um for uh my weekly readings so anyway sorry about that i don't know why i wonder if that's a sign when tarot cards hit your shoulder like that that was very strange i didn't even flip them over to see what they were but let's go ahead and get started with your reading um that is a sign that i it wasn't ready to go all right now we're ready to go here we go pisces september 2020 uh two, i almost said 2023 2022 this is for pisces sun and rising like i said i do a traditional celtic cross spread it is what my clients prefer. If you want to book a private reading with me, you know where to find me. Secondly, Pisces, uh, I love you. That's it, okay? I love you. I love all my Pisces. I, You know you're my secret crush. I love Pisces so much. Y'all are so imaginative. It's so visionary. Um, and so, I love, I mean, I just have so many Pisces in my life. Uh, Pisces, listen wow okay are you ready pisces here we go king of swords hey this is very airy all right this is very 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 airy all right and when i say very airy the swords are the mental soup okay now listen so much authority so much power you can see head above the clouds there is no water at all all right leave emotions at the door this is the only king that looks directly at you okay all the other kings look to the side nope not this one he has nothing to hide facing the truth good for you all right this came up in your past you pretty much cut away all the bs and you're like nope i'm in this position of power i got this I'm good, all right? I love that about you, Pisces. I love that, all right? Now listen, that brought us here, okay? And that's good. I'm glad that the King of Swords came up in your past because now we're looking at the heart of your spread. This is almost like, uh, what, like the headline news of the month, okay? For September. Now, Two of Pentacles. A little bit of imbalance here, all right? You can see the Pentacles are, he's juggling though. I call him the dancer of the tarot deck. You can see one foot off the ground as well. Uh, the waves it's a, a little bit of imbalance so that's what we're gonna have to work on uh, this month is a little bit more balance and the reason why that imbalance is there is you can see he's juggling these two pentacles okay now you can see the two pentacles are bound in the sign of infinity all right so what does that mean it means that even through even in like whether it's 
stormy weather, whether it's sunny outside, whether you're in a good place, whether you're in a challenging place, you're still good at juggling, okay? Doesn't matter. You can see that tsunami happening in the background. Even if there's all this chaos around you, you're still really good at it. Now, here's the thing. Do you want to be juggling for the rest of your life, all right, this situation that you're in? Or do you want to make a decision and move forward? I think that you make a decision and move forward. Okay, now this thing is, uh, I'm getting the message that for some Pisces, this may be a decision or a situation that you're in that's pretty new, okay? So it could possibly be uh, maybe two different things that are new, like for instance, if you're house hunting, all right? Choosing between two apartments, uh, choosing between two uh, roommates, two homes, uh, uh, or even partners, okay? Maybe you've been dating two different people. Remember, there's all that activity in your partnership sector. Uh, uh, Gemini, Mars went into Gemini in your fourth house, your domestic sector, which includes home, family, parents, uh, even partners. So listen, you're going to have to make a decision, all right? You don't want to be in that situation the entire time. So uh, I love that for you, okay? Because it's going to be uh, good for you to finally make that decision and i think it's going to happen around that full moon in pisces in your sign because full moon brings the end the the end to some things right it like closure okay uh and i haven't even gotten to your future and you have you're you're fine you're you're gonna make the right decision but before i even get there you did get the three of pentacles all right in the uh, challenge area so not only you got the two of pentacles you got the three of pentacles now here's what i want you to do pisces I want you to be open, all right, to working with other people now, okay? I want you to be open to that. It's going to be helpful for you, all right? Three of Pentacles, this is, you can see the stone mason here consulting with the architect. He can't build the cathedral without the architects and vice versa, all right? Teamwork makes the dream work. We all know that phrase, all right? Came up in your challenge area, so there could even be some, like, it, uh, maybe challenges with colleagues right now at work. So... Uh, spend some time, if that is happening, smoothing it over, uh, uh, making it into, you know, finding solutions to that. But in the end, I do want you working with other people. All right. I do. All right. It's going to bonding's great. Listen, bonding's great. And we can do so much together. Okay. That I know that sounded so cheesy, right? Like a, I don't know if whatever <laughs> we can't you know, i mean really it's so true it's so true all right so um i do want you to make a little bit of effort now you did get the hermit in your crown that's great all right it looks like you want to do a little bit of soul searching right now that's good i think you need to all right especially with all that activity with jupiter and aries in your uh second house with uh mars and the, like there's so much happening for you uh in a way where it's it's things are gonna move really fast first of all uh in your personal life okay i want you to know that uh so it's good to do a little bit of soul searching to just when you do that soul searching you have things figured out you process things right you really put things into perspective and you think about your future all right and i know that i said that i want you to work with people this is someone who doesn't want you know it's a hermit right uh, but this is what you are thinking right now. So do that soul searching, but when you're done, work with people. All right. And I think that's, what's going to help too. that little soul searching. If there is some disconnect right there with working with other people. Now, look, you got the Knight of wands. It's very clear as day. You want things to move fast. You want things to go, 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 go. All right. We're talking fiery here, all right? So, knights, fire, wands, fire. This is a very fiery card. Some people even say that's fire coming out of his helmet. I don't even know if that's possible. Is that possible? Is that like physically possible? Who knows? But listen, at the end of the day, speaking of fire, all right? Listen, wands, they're alive, okay? Wands, all the wands are alive. You see the leaves sprouting from it, okay? Now, listen, here's the thing pentacles. You don't see no leaves, right? Cups, no. Swords, no. The only tool that's alive 
is the wands. And what do wands represent? Fire, okay? So that really is the spark, all right? This is someone who is just charging forward with ideas and creativity and his passions. And in terms of work, career, right? Jobs, side hustles, that spark, turn it into this flaming inferno of passion, all right? I think you want, you want it, you want it. And you get it, listen. You got the 10 of cups, hello, in your future. Hi, Pisces. Very happy for you, listen, not only did this come up in your future area, it's the only rainbow in tarot, and the rainbow represents a promising future, okay? Now the cups arranged in the rainbow over the head, that's a lot of spiritual enlightenment, all right? This is really good, emotionally fulfilled, happy life, happy home, happy family, you're good. Pisces, you're good. You're, uh, you know, once you make that decision, everything's golden. This is amazing. I really love this for you. I, I really do. There's really nothing I need to clarify here. I mean, this is clear as day, all right? Um, clear as day. I think some Pisces are deciding between jobs, actually. You know what? Yeah. So, listen. Um, just know that that full moon in your sign will bring a little bit of closure. All right? So, that's why I'm confident you are going to make some decision. All right? Let's get to your staff, Pisces. Uh, hey, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. Uh, especially if you're new to my channel. It really does help my channel grow. And, listen, I've learned that now. I'm relatively new to YouTube. Hey, I've learned the algorithm. I see how everything works. I've watched all the videos. And yeah, liking, when you hit the like button, it actually does um, help me out. So that would be great. And you know, comments help too. So if you're one of those people who never leave comments because you don't want to put any thought or, because I'm that type of person too. Listen, just leave a smiley face, all right? That'll make my day, all right? Now, if you are a subscriber, I don't even have to say this. You know I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me every week. Now, listen, Pisces, you are in it to win it. You're in it to win it, aren't you? All right, so September, look. Hello, you got the full, all right? Listen, honestly, this card really is, there's a lot of innocence to it. There's a lot of opportunity with it. I mean, it's a zero, all right? Not even the numbered, listen, zero. What is zero, first of all? Zero is nothing, okay? But what's nothing? Nothing's everything. This is infinite potentials here. This is, a little man here has no past, right? We're almost starting with a clear place. When, you, when you're a zero, nothing comes before a zero, right? And so... This is really good. This, if I had any advice for you right now, because 10 of cups, 10, it's the end of the suit, starting a new journey, take that leap of faith, okay? Take that leap of faith. If this is the decision that you're stuck between, all right? The one, go with your gut. Pisces, you are the most psychic of the signs. You know that, right? You are the most intuitive, so go with your gut and just take that leap of faith, all right? This is very beautiful energy. This is great energy. You see all that sunlight, all that abundance, all right? Pisces, I love that for you. Now, you did get the Hierophant, okay? Love it. Someone's going to come through in a really good way. I'm getting a feeling of like a new boss energy here. But the Hierophant is someone who, you know, he's a male equivalent of the High Priestess, formerly known as the Pope. People still consider him the Pope. So very spiritual energy here, all right? Really passing that wisdom for deeper knowledge. Um, and you need that wisdom to gain the keys, right? It is the first card in the Major Arcana is where other people appear, okay? When you have that wisdom, you got to pass it on to some people. And so because this came up in your external factors area, hey, that's great. Someone's going to come along and really help you out and really like fill you with wisdom in terms of uh, maybe there's some air, like maybe like could be a new job or, you know, maybe you just uh, you're house hunting and you don't really know where to look and it's you, you need someone to come in and help you out with that. Listen, there's you're someone you're going to get 
you're gonna get the help. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really great. Now, hey, you got the two of ones, all right? So, this is really interesting because it came up in an area of your spread, which is sort of like, it's kind of like your hopes, but it's also your fears. Like you have this hope to, uh, you can see that he has, look, you can see that he has his, the world in his hands, okay? He's standing in a high place in the castle. He has a really good vision, really good perspective. He's not going anywhere. He's still planning, all right? And so that's kind of like your hope, right? Planning. Just keeping planning. Uh, this is obviously you have that decision to make. Obviously, you want to do a little bit of soul searching. Obviously, there's a lot of career-related stuff here, but planning. But then also the fear right of not moving forward too much planning all right so let's find that balance remember i said earlier about that imbalance okay let's find that balance and let's be comfortable with ourselves. like i said you are the most psychic you are the most intuitive you've got this all right pisces you've got this now lastly you got the knight of pentacles when i say you got this you got this this is your final outcome card all right remember we said the knight is all about fire and then the pentacles hey look wealth money i love it this is great okay this is the type of guy okay so the knight of pentacles is someone who likes to see his he likes to sow the seeds and watch his his and reap the rewards but like in a patient way and just to uh he's very uh in terms of like long-term commitment okay it's his thing all right and so that is the final outcome all right the knight of pentacles for you all right, so you are in this process where things are gonna start gradually moving in this direction that you love, all right? And it's going to be something, uh, think about stocks, right? See, so if you invest in something, you don't see like crazy action overnight. It takes time for something to mature and to grow and uh, you know how it works, right? So I love that they came out because that's gonna happen for you, all right? All this investments, and when I say investments, we're talking like, and I'm using that word loosely, okay? Investments in relationships, okay? Investments in your job, even like investments in money and stocks and stuff like that too, all right? Emotional investments as well. So keep that in mind. That's all going great for you. Why do I, man, I'm dropping the cards all over the place. Okay, so it's Friday, y'all. That's, I'm in, fr I have fr I'm in Friday mode. Um, and I'm the clumsiest person in the world. I'm sure you've noticed that in my other readings. Now, listen, as I promised, I'm going to pull a card a week to ship, uh, to give you an idea of what to expect, uh, give you a little bit more insight on what's going to happen for every week in September. Uh, it's first week of September, we're kicking it off with a bang. Okay. That Mars, Exile, Jupiter, love it. Okay. Venus is also going into Virgo and listen, that's cool. All right. A little bit more reserved. Venus and Virgo, but it's like, you know, there is like this uh, aspect of like uh, extreme devotion and dedication. And as we know, that is your seventh house in partnerships, Pisces. So first week of September. Okay. You got the five of pentacles. All right. So listen, first week of September may be a little challenging. All right. I'm not going to lie. All right. So there is, and we saw it all here. Okay. The decisions that you the decisions that you have to make, um, everything is going to work out. By the way, and I want you to know that. But decisions you have to make. Someone's coming through, new beginning. But the first week of September, just don't focus on any sort of plight. If you do, if you do go through any sort of challenges or hardships, especially financially, know that you're fine. Okay, you see this. All right. You're fine. This is just saying, these people are so focused on their plight, they can't even see. They don't even pay attention to the fact that they're literally outside of church, all right? All they have to do is reach out. All they have to do is look up, all right? Help is right there. And that's what I was saying earlier, okay? If you, I want you to work with other people right now um, and be open to it, okay? Um, reach out if you need to, for sure. Now, second week of September, we have that 
full moon in your sign. <sighs> Let's see what's going on. All right. You have the seven of swords. So, <sighs> second week of September, you could find out someone's not playing fair. All right. You're going to have to confront it. All right. Full moons are really intense and they're really emotional. All right. Now, even though everything, like I said here, is great, when we get lit specific week by week, it gives us a little bit more clarity, all right? So second week of September, especially around that full moon in your sign, someone could be doing something a little sneaky. I hate to say it, maybe lying to you about something, maybe cheating you about something. Uh, but remember, Mercury goes into retrograde too. So that is a planet of communication. Just all you have to do, if you have an inkling that someone is lying, cheating, stealing, doing something underhanded, confront it, okay? Confront it because it could be a miscommunication with Mercury going retrograde. But at the end of the day, there is some sort of truth that you're going to have to confront. He's doing this in broad daylight and that's a lot of exposure, okay? So whatever it is, just be prepared to face some truths, okay? And confront them because that's only going to serve you well. All right. Now, the third week of September, um, there are some squares and oppositions, but there are some good days as well. All right. Again, you can look at the uh, dates in the calendar, but, you know, Venus is trining Uranus, which I love. Um, and then the Sun trining Pluto, which I love. Oh, my goodness. Um, I was about to faint. <laughs> You got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so there is something new coming in, this new opportunity, this new beginning, this uh, re related to wealth and money, all right? So remember what I said. All right? You're definitely going to have some new opportunity come in, and it's going to happen around mid-month, okay? And it is going to be, I mean, this is the hand of spirit, right? Offering you the biggest pinnacle in the world. All right. Now, the last week of September, a lot of activity in Li uh, Libra. Sun goes into Libra. Um, and we have that new moon in Libra, and that all rules your eighth house. Let's see what's going on for you. Justice. Love it. Okay. So, this is at, you know, justice is all about law and order. Um, I feel like there is going to be a point where. Uh, this is very car like a lot of karmic energy attached to this and so if you've been a good little Pisces you're gonna reap those rewards at this point okay now here's the other thing if you feel like things are a little unjust or an unfair um, know that this justice card when justice shows up okay especially because and this is really important remember I said all that activity in Libra. Just, Libra is the justice card. I want you to use that sword to cut any drama from your life. Anything that you don't need moving forward, okay? Do you know, there's absolutely no water in this card. Absolutely no water. Leave your, your emotions at the door at this point. Um, but cut any drama that you don't need in your life. And this is all about balance. Remember, the harder your spread, we talked about balance, all right? We talked about balance throughout the theme of your uh, reading. And you see that he's holding this scale, all right? So whatever you need to do to keep, make everything in your life a little bit more balanced, all right? That is what is going to be the focus for you for the last week of September. Pisces, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, it'd be so great if you like and subscribe. And again, subscribers, if you're here, you know I love you so much. All right. Thanks so much. And I will talk to you later. I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye.